Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Princess Salad in Tomato Kingdom, and full disclosure, I have already played these five levels, went to play them, played through them, made a video, got it into the recording studio, and realized I had not recorded my voice. And I can't very well fake the fact that I haven't played these levels, because I pushed the like button on one of them, and I got the world record on another, and I'm fairly certain Tomato Watcher has already seen those notifications by now. So we're just going to play through levels that I have played through at least once. Starting with Glistening... I think this is Glistening Grotto is the name of it. It's loading pretty slowly there. Yeah, Glistening Grotto. This is the one that I hit the like button on. I seem to really enjoy something about this one. And let's see if I can recapture whatever that was. I think I just liked the layout and just kind of the general rompiness of it, if I'm recalling correctly. So this is a bit of a different angle than usual. I do like to... Whoa, I do like to play these things blind. But I have unfortunately messed that up for myself and for you. Hey, that's something I didn't get before, though. Let's, let's see if I can have some fun with this. Any one-ups or anything? I don't see anything just too crazy going on here. Huh, okay. Well, alright. Let's see if I can, uh... Oops, I was trying to avoid, just trying to avoid the piranha plant, really. Nothing really special happening there. Uh, oh, wait, where, where is the, where is the goodie bag? <laughs> Not that I can really, uh, there we go. I feel like, I feel like I'm really slipping and sliding around here. What's, what's going on? Oh, yeah, I missed something. Because there was a bonus right here, and I think last time, no, it's right here. Okay, there was some kind of pipe that I missed when I played this before. And... Okay, nothing there. Anything exciting? Any multiple coin? More propeller cap action. That's cute. Woo! Got kind of nervous there for some reason. It's not like the acorn suit. Not, not nearly the same sort of deal. Uh, I was expecting myself to glide and I just kind of whizzed up into the air there. Let's see. Okay, what's going... Oh, hey, oh, there we go. I'll definitely smash that with my butt. I say that about lots of things, though. So, let's see. Let's let's go down here and have some fun with this. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, here we go. I think... Wow, a one-up. How generous of you to donate to the Round the Wheel Fund. Always love having one-ups come my way. So... Oh, hey, oh, wow, more multiple coins. Boy, you really love your multiple coin bricks. Don't you, Tomato Watcher? Okay, yeah, it's starting to feel new to me again. Even though I've played it before, I'm really having a blast here. Yeah, I remember why I hit the like button on this level. This is a really fun one, and I am set up with, I think, a record number of lives so far, in case I just really beef something. Which makes me feel... Yeah, see, I already done liked the video, but I don't think I'll be getting a world record. I don't think I'll be stealing it from Sad Mario over there anytime soon. So, let's get going. I, we have our first ghost house on up ahead. So, let's do it to it. This ghost house is named... What was it named? I don't remember. It's Big Boo's Grounded Ghost House. You're grounded, Big Boo. And don't think about taking the car nowhere. Neither. Reach the goal without landing after leaving the ground. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah, this one is this one is a good amount of challenge. I, do, I did enjoy this one. Uh, we just got to... Sometimes you have to jump and then not touch the ground. Other times it's better to just not leave the ground at all. And this is one of those ladder cases where you just don't want to be leaving the ground at all for any reason. Because if you do, you're not going to be able to get back up. First room down. Easy peasy, but it does get somewhat tougher. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, that was a little bit of slick willy business right there. Aw, oh, man. He took away my opening. Oh, oop, oop, oop. Where do you think... You're not going to sneak up on me. Not today, sir. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right, so now I have to get the right amount of balance here. So, here we go. All right. Not leave the ground. Let it go back up. Don't take me with you. I'll be staying home alone today. Here we go. All right, and then it's pretty simple from this point forward. This room is, anyway. I think there's still at least one more bit of challenge left. Didn't realize there was a boo following me there. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, this part. Well, I'm not going to play around with the bumpers, so I'm just going to make my way to the end. 
<laughs> I have plenty of lives as is. I know, <laughs> around the wheel saying he has plenty of lives. You know, when you get a little older, you get a little more secure. Uh, I don't I don't need to have 99 lives. Like, you know what, I'm going to like that level too. I actually do really like that one. I was so close to a world record. Oh my gosh. Mr. Hard Hat Man over there. Stealing my thunder. How dare you. Alright, a chance for one-ups. Because Lord knows I can always use more lives. Let's go to it. Catch and win. Oh, yes. Okay. So, oh yeah. I can catch fastballs easy. Any any old sucker can catch fastballs. It's when they start changing it up. Ah, see, you're like right there. Ahoo, and I got your knuckleball, too. Oh, strike one. Well, uh, Oh, and a fork ball. Balls can't do that. But I'm on to your games this time. Whoa! And he throws the heat, and I get kicked out of the kitchen by Freak Mario. Yuck! What the heck was that thing? Boy, you know what? These toad houses, they've been pumping out some weird genetic experiments. They need to just, they need to leave those things at home. I'm, I'm, I am very freaked out and repulsed by what I have just seen here today. That is... Long-legged, long arm Mario. Daddy long legs, get back in the house. Nobody needs to see that. Coral Cave. Alright, Coral Cave. This is, yep, there's a lot of coral, and level is definitely living up to its name. So, we have coral, we have aquatic sea life. Very good. Very, very well done. You've made, you've made a water level. Good for you, Mr. Tomato Watcher. Alright, we've got bits of sunken wreckage here, adding some aesthetic flavor. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it verily. So, let's go... Alright, bit of a little introductory passage. Alright, what else will we be getting here to... Oh, oh, dark time. Pow blocks, huh? Can I go up the side here? No, nothing, nothing fancy schmancy up the side. So this blue, or cheap cheap, is just gonna keep on trucking. Okay, so... Alright, I'm in the dark here. But the pal blocks are lighting up the way. I appreciate that. And the coins are a little more effervescent with their praise than usual. Okay. Well, this is... As dark areas go, a lot of people... Oh! Somebody finally paid the light bill! Oh, and we're right back to... Luigi, I need to remind you about paying those bills. You really need to... You really need to get better about that. Okay, well, never mind. I lit up the place entirely myself. We got a flower here. Oh, yes. A star is fun for a short time, but flowers are where the... Whoa! Golly! That dude is cooking with gas. There we go. Let's get away. Let's get away from here. Yeah, a star is fine for short-term fun, but... A fire flower is really where the long-term gains are at. You know, if I can keep it, and if I can keep a blooper out of my face here. Oh my gosh! The baby got me! I hate children. Let's let's keep them off of me then. So okay, I I feel like we're near the end of the level. I feel like that this was not a super involved one. Uh, just kind of just kind of a bunch of colorful pipes. One dark segment that was not as trolly as people really tend to make dark segments, which I really appreciate. Thank you. Dark levels are about as fun as getting a root canal. So. Congratulations on making one that's actually, like, semi-fun. So... Yep! Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. We're getting, we're getting out of Squid Town here. Give me the one-up and... Float. Let's be on our way. Let's, let's tread water. Let's get out of the pool. Let's have ourselves a Snickers ice cream bar and let's go on to the next level. I always liked eating Snickers ice cream bar when I was at the pool. Like, a bit of Uncle Roundy nostalgia for you there. That's just the perfect at the municipal city pool snack to me. A Snickers ice cream bar. In fact, I could probably go for one right now. A Dove ice cream bar. That's where the money's at. Hold on just a second. Brief interruption. Alright, starting over so we can have the nice intro screen. This is Topsy Turvy Tunnel. Yeah, I had some difficulty with this one. This one got a little bit out of hand. The reverse gravity really throws me, and I have a really hard time reading it. So, you may see me beef a few times on this level, but that's okay. I, I wish you had gotten a more genuine reaction out of me than, than this. I don't, like, I don't like doing things I'm already familiar with. 
that's fine enough when you're starting out to play games that you already know how to play. Really helps you, like, keep your bearings and stuff. But nowadays, you know, uh, blind gaming, that's where it's at. And it's just not as entertaining to play something you already know, like the back of your hand. See? See? Forgot you had to spin there, so... Yeah, it was a valiant effort, but there's no saving me from that. Now see, I was going to say that's what we call fancy footwork, but uh, not so much. Oh, even better place to let that beetle go. Money, money, money. Money for days. It's all mine, baby. See, that's a little slower. Not quite as fun. Is there one over here, though? Nope, nothing over this way. So I need to spin here this time to survive this. Uh, sure, why not? Let's, let's just kill everybody. Can I reach that, actually? Can I reach that? Be fun to go in a bonus pipe here. Oh, 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 woo! Hey, hello! What are you? Why? Why? Go away. Okay, why are you? Hey! Ha ha ha! Yes, there we go. I think I missed this the first time I played, actually, so... It's nice to actually get this bonus this time. So... Let's see. Uh, can I actually throw this upward, or... No? Anything, any kind of uh, power-up here for me? If I get it in one of the right... No, it's just money for days. Um, let's try to... No, I don't see myself reaching this anytime soon. Uh, no. Yep, I'm gonna miss the 50 coin brigade. Dang it. Well, that stinks, but at least I got in here without banging my feet on the thing this time. Hello, okay. So here we go. Next. That's a pretty simple jump, right? Nothing coming out of that pipe. I'm gonna trust the pipe. Okay, there we go. I was right to trust the pipe this time. Holy cow. See, sometimes I sometimes I accidentally wall kick when I'm pressing down. Now I'm accidentally ducking when I hold up. This game is weird. Okay, alright. Oh boy, gliding. Gliding with reverse gravity. I, you can bet I'm gonna get this wrong at least once. Okay, so... Alright. All right, hipping and hopping and bipping and bopping. There's gonna be a beetle, at least one beetle here. Let's let him let go in here. There we go. Fantastic. Where's the money train at? Oh, a P switch. That's okay. That's different. Uh, where do we want to? Do we want to take this with us, or do we? We're just gonna do. We're just gonna do this. Up. Oh, yeah. See, see, I completely lost track of the situation there. Um, and I'm probably, as a result, missing out on probably a one-up at the end. Oh, hey, wow, that was a, that was a troll plant. Yeah, if I had, had <laughs> well, with everything just coming after me, maybe we just better get the heck out of here. Maybe that's what we ought to do. So, <laughs> okay, gravity could have been a lot worse, but can't be much worse than this. Well, okay, I, that was about to sound really nasty. I was going to say it can't be much worse than this next level, which is the one I actually got the world record on, weirdly enough, after I memorized it after doing it 8 billion times. This is a really hard level right here. This is the third castle. This is Iggy's Mecha Koopa something or other. Yeah, Iggy's Mecha Koopa Factory. It's laser time, folks. And, yeah, you're... Even knowing how this level works, you're probably gonna see me... Probably gonna see me eat brick quite a few times. Or, actually, rather, eat magma, as the case may be. This is a really tough level that I think... Probably could have done with a little restraint, actually. You probably could have filled, killed a few of your darlings on this one, I would say. It, it, it runs a little long, especially at the checkpoint point. You'll see what I'm talking about. That, that was not the greatest use of words there. Uh, not exactly a master wordsmith when I'm talking out loud trying to play video games. Uh, talking out loud. See, of course, how else would I be talking? Okay, come here, acorn. The acorn is going to be useful for a little bit anyway. Uh, not so much in the back half where it's just, Well, actually, that's probably good that that happened. And there's not even anything secret up here. I'm just messing around. Okay, so... All right, we're gonna be ah okay, missile bill time. 
Mecha Koopas that shoot missile bills. Missile bills without any personality, mind you. And here come the pretzels. Holy cow. Okay, yeah, the, the blue ones shoot lasers out of their mouths. Uh, fortunately, they're not like quick man lasers that kill you in one hit. I think you can withstand a hit from them. But, okay. All right, let's, we got to time this just right. It's not too hard. It's not that much of a puzzle, but it is mildly aggravating. Okay. Uh, yeah, it slowed up just by skimming the lava. A little too much. Got it to turn around. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is a this is a bit of a part right here. Oh, okay. Well, that's enough for our part. No, it's not. What? You have to have the entire pipe uncovered. Well, what a ripoff. Small Mario, you, what do you mean you can't fit through a one square hole? Buddy, okay, I'm just gonna let this one go. We need it to have as slow a turnaround time as possible. Alright, up through here. Okay, getting it wet is gonna be a bad idea. See, yeah, this... Even knowing how to do this puzzle, it can be just a bit tricky. Alright. See, you're either, you're either too early or you're too late. And by this time, it might be nice to just eat a life. Because... Yeah, we might just want to eat a life after we... There we go. It's done. No secret up here. Okay. So once we get through here, I'm just going to eat a life just to have the time. But man, this part moves fast. And it is... Yikes. It's basically trial and error memorized as you go. And having 14 lives might not even matter because I might just end up eating my full stock here. This is a pretty hard segment. I'm not going to lie. Okay, wait for you to go off. All right. Oh, they usually go at the same time. That, it, it, that usually looks a lot better. I wonder what happened there. But them actually coordinating at the same time to destroy that part looks really cool. But yeah, you see, this is pretty fast scrolling. Uh, oh, gosh. Yep, see, very reactive type situation. You have to react to things almost instantaneously here. Uh, and there is very little margin for error. I'm actually going to take this right here. Oh, well, that may have been a mistake. Well, it might be fine. It might be fine. Okay, he blew through there, but now, yeah. See, uh, yeah, this part is just really tricky. Lots of stuff to think about at once. And just... You know, if you lose your bearings for even a little bit, that was just me being stupid. That was my own fault. But, yeah, just... And if you lose at the boss battle, you have to do this whole segment all over again. Uh, I think the checkpointing on it is a little questionable. Um, I think this level... There haven't been many levels so far, or really even any, that I would say need to go back for extensive workshopping. But I would say this one kind of does. I think this one needs a bit of a rethink. The concept is not so bad. It's just, especially the second half, is a little bit too much. Uh, there's just a lot to get right in one run. And it's just super duper difficult. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably, you know, I say it may be better for me not to have that. And I think part of what makes it too much is the conveyor belts. Okay, yeah, I just ate the dust there, too. Oh, wow. That was fortunate. And see, but how am I supposed to get in there now? I trapped myself by going up what looked like, apparently, the easy way. But I didn't remember that, so... Uh, I paid the price for it. Um, what are you doing? There we go. So, yeah, it might take me a few tries to get through this, even knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. And you're probably going to see a bit of a death montage here in the next few seconds slash minutes. So, we'll just we'll just come back when I get safely to the top. Because you've I think you've seen the entire, the entire room by this point. So, once I'm just safely at the top... That's when we'll come back. Wow. Well, I was going to say, it's pretty rare to recover from something like that, but I didn't really recover now, did I? Yep. 
This is ideally how you want to do it. Getting here with the acorn suit is really hard. And it's all but a requirement, though, honestly, to get through that part that I just played. I better get out of here before too much more talking happens. But the Iggy fight is pretty easy by comparison. It's just that middle half of the level. And it's a good thing this part is so easy because, heaven forbid, you should die here and then have to do the other part all over again. Iggy, your dance annoys me. Come on. Come play in the other part of the room. Don't be a coward. We're just going to let that Mecha Koopa fly around because another one will come out of the... Oh, uh, well, this actually makes things easier. I don't like floating around so much. Okay. The acorn is just, like, too floaty for what I want right now. I would prefer precision jumping, and I'm about to die. Yep, I sure am. Get over here, you coward. Come on. Okay. There we go. That fight is done. Bit of a close one. But, yeah, this is a lot shorter than it could have been, probably, because... Yeah, I think the I think the last segment turned out really long. Bye-bye, Buzzy Beetle. Into the lava with ye. That's the only way to effectively get rid of one of those things. Or crash it into one of its friends. I don't know. But uh, next time, uh, I will hopefully be a little better about having the microphone plugged in. And, yeah, see, I took way longer this time than last time. I think because last time I actually cleared it after a game over. And I think I cleared it on the first life after a game over, and I was just trying to speed run it out. So I ended up doing it in like one attempt after a game over. So that's why that happened really fast for me. But uh, next time we're going to move on, and I'm going to be better about having my microphone on so I can have more spontaneous reactions to the levels, which is what I like doing. Cannon Travel Center is going to take us to the Empire. So we are here in uh, Jungle Poison Pond Land with also a water airship level? Things getting a little funkier maybe?